I have been cooking for almost 20 years. It's one of those things that has just stuck with me and I seem to be pretty okay at it, I guess. Hold up. I think you might be selling yourself a bit short there, Ryan. Meet Ryan Fitzpatrick, a renowned Sunshine Coast chef who's combining his international cooking expertise with unique local producers to create an immersive chef's table experience in the heart of Coolum Beach. I'm Ryan and this is my course. So I watched like a rerun of like Top Gun when I was like eight or nine and I was, you know, it was seems super cool and then I found out that you have to be really good at maths and science and then I think we we're on a recent trip when I was like 10 or 12 to SeaWorld and saw dolphins jump and I was like oh my god that's the coolest job ever but again that sort of needed a bit of academic skills which I wasn't really keen to apply myself with. The telltale thing was the, the cooking because it was such a it was always a, a big part of festivities making cakes with your grandma and things like that that sort of led to it. Realised that you can somewhat make a, a career out of it and yeah, basically take you around the world, I guess. So the chef's table essentially is just taking something pretty raw, something with a bit of a story and being able to produce it in a way that, you know, some of these clientele probably wouldn't find in other places. Just sort of really trying to find a purpose for cooking I guess is the biggest thing because you know you can work in all these like, restaurants and it, it's a it's an amazing experience but you don't really understand where the produce and the stories behind it all come from. Basically I started off cooking pub grub fortunate enough to land a job in the French Alps private chefing in the winters and then in the summer we flew around uh, Portugal, Spain, Greece to cook for families and things like that. Moved back to reside back in Noosa and ran a few kitchens at the age of sort of 21, 22, some fast paced bistros. Um, so yeah, learned a, a lot about life and real world, I guess. And then eventually got a job on a, on a larger super yacht that was traveling through the Pacific. But yeah, the super yachts, I think, were out of everything has been the standout. Just meeting all the villages, the people going on random dinghy trips, climbing trees, and then incorporating that style into what we did for you know the, the clients and the, the owners on board. While the flavours of the world had captured his imagination, Ryan was ultimately lured home to the bubbling foodie haven on the Sunshine Coast. Eight score wagyu, truffle jus, warrigal greens from Arnie Terry's farm, cauliflower and pork skin. Enjoy. Though his super yacht days might be behind him, Ryan continues to be inspired by the stories of local suppliers and producers like Auntie Terry at Gallaroo, Queensland's largest native food orchard. I reached out to Auntie Terry. We've had a great relationship for the last, you know, just over two years. This one's like an, our native asparagus. What? Like a snow pea. Yeah. yeah. Like bush asparagus. Yeah. Wow. If I just wanted to know more and make sure that I wasn't stepping on anyone's toes, making sure that if I was to use it, I was using it for the right reasons. It's like quite a citrusy thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a chef, so... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You right? It's so rewarding to see someone enjoy something that not only you've either helped create or you're creating. So yeah, it's a massive reason why I think most people wake up and do the 16 hour days. And it's sort of live and breathe it, you know. If you'd like to discover more of what's inspiring Ryan, you can head to his website to secure your seat at the next Chef's Table event. I think I'm on track from where, what I th younger Ryan thought. Uh, I think I should have probably grown up a little bit earlier. Yeah, still, still got that, the vision that I've had since uh, I was a, a wee little boy. So yeah, we're still, uh, still pushing and still driving every day.